Adding smartphone or computer mockups to videos is perfect for brand promotions, demonstrating apps, and social media content sharing. With Veed's simple online video editor, they're super easy to make. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own mockup video in just a few minutes. So when you're on Veed's website, you can instantly open a new project. Now Veed has a dedicated template list filled with video templates featuring mockups of iPhones, laptops and other devices integrated into them. You can easily start with one of those, which are also completely customizable within the editor. For instance, you can leave the mockup intact and only replace the visuals and text in and around the mockup to make it fit your creative vision. So that's a great option, but in this video, we're gonna start from scratch. So you see how easy it is to set up your mockup video. So first things first, how do you add a mockup to your video? To find it, we'll head over to elements in the sidebar menu and scroll down until we can find the mockup section. Once you find it, click on view all to see See the entire list of markup images. As you can see, there's a wide variety of free markups of iPhones, Android phones, Macs, MacBooks, and other laptops, smartwatches, browser tabs, and even markups of smartphones held by hands. When you find one you like, simply click on the markup to add it to your project. When your markup is added to the project, you can easily crop, resize, rotate, and reposition your markup in the video canvas. In the bottom timeline menu, extend, shorten, and reposition the layer and in the markup editing menu, you can even add some captivating one-click animations to make your markup even more intriguing for your video. So this is how you easily add a markup to your video. Now let's create a cool and simple design and briefly go over some of the key features while doing so. For this example, we'll be going for a clean podcast promo video for an Instagram story. First thing we're gonna do is head over to the sidebar menu and head over to settings. Here you can easily change the video background by changing the color or uploading your own. Additionally, you can change the aspect ratio of your markup video in one click, for instance for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or other platforms. Of course, in this case, we're gonna go for Instagram story. All right, so next, as you can see, the iPhone mockup is looking a little bit empty. So let's add a solid background within the screen as a base. To make this happen, we'll head over to elements and find shapes. In this case, we're gonna go for a rounded square, which we can easily recolor, resize, and reshape. Make sure the shape is just a little bit smaller than the mockup and right click on it in the video canvas to be able to put it behind the iPhone mockup so it will fit nicely. You can also click and drag the layers under or over one another to achieve the same effect. You can even multi-select or group the layers to be able to simultaneously resize or reposition them. So now we have a solid background for the mockup Next, let's import a picture for our podcast promo. Simply click on add media in the timeline menu to find the upload button to be able to import pictures or videos from your desktop into the editor. In this case, I imported a picture of me, which I'll place at the top of the markup screen. I'll even round the corners of my image a little bit and add a subtle animation for the smooth and dynamic effect. So that's that, now we need some text. In the sidebar menu, head over to text, in which you will find a list of great looking text presets you can choose from. In a very intuitive way, you can make adjustments to your text to make it to your liking. You can go as far as adding as many text layers as you prefer, and even add some nice animations if you want to. It's starting to look pretty cool, but we're missing some icons and stickers. So let me show you how you can add those. When you head over to elements, you will find an incredible list of different visuals you can add to your mockup video. For instance, there's a section in which you can find brand icons, which could be helpful if you want to plug your socials or showcase where people can watch or listen to your content. And also, for instance, in the animated sticker tab, you can type in keywords in the search bar and find thousands of animated stickers you can add to your video. Feel free to get creative and try to find some elements that complement your amazing markup video. Now we're almost finished, but as a final touch, I want to make the background a little bit more dynamic. We can do this by heading over to Veed's built-in video stock library in which you can search for thousands of different videos. In this case, we want to have something solo for the background. So when you find one, click on the file and it will be instantly added to your project. I'm gonna right click it to add it to the back of the video and I wanna make it blend with the background color. So all I do is adjust the opacity a little bit to give the markup video a subtle dynamic look. And that's it. So now you have your markup video. If you're satisfied, you can click on done to export your video so you can proudly share it on your socials for your audience to enjoy. So that's how you create a markup video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. For now, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and see you next time.